by Jerry Butler. Jerry Butler. We will break you. Our next guest is a bona fide uh, raconteur and the host of his own daily uh, radio program on Sirius Satellite Radio. Here he is, the very funny Jay Thomas. <laughs> Nice to see you. I you thought you were going to uh, have ahead. me have a little Christmas tree with a... No, oh, that's, coming, on that's coming up in a couple yeah, okay. of months. No, that's exciting. I'll be back. Yeah. I'll be back. Have you ever worked with that Julia Louis-Dreyfus? No, I live in the neighborhood, oh, neighborhood of her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law. <laughs> you live in... Oh. No, I do. Oh, I thought you were... Yeah, okay. And she's an old Episcopalian lady, yeah. and... Um, she drives by all the time, but I'm only nice to her so I can get on that show. Oh, uh, that's, that's all right. It's show business. You know what's that's terrible is I really don't care about a lot of people unless they can help me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> Listen. I don't know how else to say it. Now, am, am I, am I uh, right... You're not helping me as much as I'd like you yeah. to. Am I... I am keep I, saying how funny I am when put my ass more. Yeah. <laughs> am, am, I, am I right in saying that you... Uh, you look different, or am I nuts about I this? I have a beautiful new suit. Yeah, you look suit. great, sure. That's but right. something about your face, is there something... Did you, you didn't have... You didn't have... Uh, did you? You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people... Uh, I had a little work done, David. Well, there you go. Oh. There, good for you. Well, you look great. You look Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. What, can you tell us what you had done? <laughs> what do you think I had done? Um, I don't know. A wallet job? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, uh, I don't either. It's yeah, funny, yeah, right? Well, I don't yeah, know who knows or not. Yeah, who cares? Um, really? I, I have a, a friend who is a, a, a plastic surgeon. Oh. And I was in his office one day, but just hanging out with him, and, and he showed me this piece of equipment that he had on his internet. Not internet, but... Uh, and computer. he takes a picture of you. Mm -hmm. Right. Then he does stuff that he would do to you, and he shows you this other picture. The before and after. Yeah, well, but I didn't think anything of it, and he said, you know that little piece of meat? And I went, what piece of meat? Ooh. And he shows me this little kind of lump thing, you know, yeah. and I said, no, and then he does something in my eyes, and, I, and he sends me home with this photograph. Mm -hmm. I go back to the house with this cyborg kind of image of myself, and I'm going, God, you know, and I, I just couldn't get over it. So I called him back, and I said, look, i got to get this done immediately, yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, and I mean it, he says, look, I'll do it for free. I said, for well, I'm, I'm, yeah, my buddy. He says, I'll do it for free. All you have to do is tip the nurse. I said, <laughs> I... <laughs> I'll do nurse. it. That's all he said. Tip the tip nurse. So the nurse. I live two hours from from uh, uh, L.A. And yeah. my wife said to me, "Now, don't you be going get any plastic surgery." Right. She says that they were against the family. Totally didn't against it. Yeah. I drive back to Los Angeles. I get in the chair, and you had open heart surgery. They act like it's going to be like a few minutes, and then it's going to well, be well. No, over. they didn't. They, they sure they, did. no, they didn't. They didn't say. They don't tell worry. you you're going to recover. No, no. He <laughs> said hour or two, whatever, and then you're back. No one will know. Really? So I get in the chair, you know, and what they do is he starts sticking something in here they deaden they take needles and they deaden it and they stick needles and everything's dead and he does like that and he says this will heal and then he says I'm gonna cut a thing here and you know when you go and get new heels at the shoe store yeah. they took a little piece of like a heel and he opened it up and he moved my chin forward and the, then the meat was gone, see? And, and he deadens me and all this. And then he says, let's do the eyes. And he deadens the eyes and he cuts it. And about two, three hours later, they wrap me up, you know, and they hand me these pills. And they say, now, don't, you're not driving home, are you? And I go, no, I'm, I'm staying the yeah. night. So I had to get right back home. So... <laughs> So I have no idea what I look like. I can't feel anything. And he wraps my head up. And I go out into Beverly Hills with my head wrapped and my eyes begin to swell and this and that. And I get in the car and, and, and the thing says, do not take these uh, while driving. The and pain pills, a, there's a the picture of an old man running into people at a farmer's market. Yeah. So, yeah. so I put it right there, right? And I'm driving and I'm driving and I'm thinking. And all of a sudden, I live two hours from L.A. And about halfway, my face begins to lose the pain uh, medicine and I and it begins to like be throb mm -hmm. now my mouth is okay I, it's still dead but my eyes and now I get terribly hungry mm. and terribly thirsty at the same time <laughs> and I see <laughs> Wendy's I see a Wendy's <laughs> Wendy's. 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 And I need something soft to yeah. eat. Yeah. So they have a, a special on pita sandwiches. You know, these pita bread sandwiches. Yeah. And it was a limited time only kind of a thing. So. <laughs>
<laughs> it was a limited time. So, and I got my head's all, you know, wrapped. You know, I mean, it's like, it's like I have like a tie in my head like that. So I look at the pills and I think, that, and it says, you know, you'll die and you can't operate a tractor. So I put it down. I pull into the thing. Well, I haven't spoken in like an hour and a half or two hours. And I got, it's all dead, but now the pain is really awful. I'm horribly thirsty. And the little girl says, what would you like? I go, I could play how I play. <laughs> and she says, what? I go, a, a pure power. <laughs> and <laughs> so she gets a Vietnamese girl who works in the back. And she, <laughs> well, you are. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. No, no. No, no. no. That's a, yeah. So I continue because now I'm starving and I'm thirsty. And I go, and she says, well, w would you like ranch dressing? What would you, I go, oh, God. <laughs> And I'm really in pain. And she says, uh, what would you like to drink? I go, oh, God. And she says, root beer? I go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, <laughs> the people at the, they think the elephant man has yeah, gone to the drive <laughs> So when I get to the little window, there's like six of their heads sticking out of them. And, and look, hold it, and I'm in the, I'm in the thing like that. You know? And my tongue, and my tongue is huge, right? So I get the penis and I throw the money and I get the thing and I get out and I try to drink the root beer and it just goes. So I get the straw and I go like that and I put the straw in my mouth. And the pain is awful. Uh, uh. And now I get the pita sandwich and I bite into it and I cannot get my teeth into the brick. And I'm thinking it's the end of the promotion and it's the stale, oh, you yeah, know, limited yeah. time only. <laughs> I bite and bite and bite and all of a sudden I am biting into my own tongue. And it goes everywhere. And the pita crap goes, it's everywhere. Now, I got to get back home. Okay, right? let, me, let me interrupt you right there. Sure. You're still not back home yet. We'll I'm be right back, back here with Jay Thomas. I don't know if this works in two parts. Um. Interesting because I've seen you since you've had the surgery, right, right. And, and for a minute there I thought you looked different. And I look now rested I, is all. I don't know if you look different. I look different. But, but here we have you before the surgery. Let's, let's yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look. This will be the split screen. Where is it? <laughs> Looks pretty much the same. <laughs> no, look at the eyes. <laughs> oh, so. Look at the eyes. It's entirely different. I don't know if you get your... No, well, I, look, no, you I think don't you, have that thing there yeah. anymore. How much, well, first of all, how much did you tip the nurse? <laughs> <laughs> Same. You know, I don't look as angry as I used to look. Oh, you know, fine. I used to... What, what's going on at the, uh, the, uh, the satellite radar? Now, that's where uh, Howard Stern is getting that's right. like a, $500 million. That's You're right. You're working with, essentially with Howard Stern. Oh, yeah. We're big pals now. Uh, but for, for a long time, you didn't... Uh, I would uh, talk to you about Howard, and you didn't want to talk hated about Hated his guts. Hated Howard's guts? Hated his guts. Couldn't stand it. That may be the wrong man to hate. That's honestly. right. The wrong man to hate. Uh, we're, by the way, giving it away for a couple of days on the well, internet. Serious, it's and they say a billion people are coming in. Yeah. But Howard replaced me on the radio. Here in, in New York City? In New York City. Then I went to another station, and then he beats me in the ratings. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to Los Angeles. He goes to Los Angeles and beats me in the ratings mm -hmm. there. This is a hate. I'm hating him. Why right. wouldn't I like it? And then I would say horrible things about him. And so this goes on for 20 years, right? 20 years? 20 years. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. That's a, I made that's more money in time. severance than anybody you know. He would, <laughs> I would pray he'd come to town, I'd get fired and get a good severance package. So they hire me at Sirius Satellite, and I'm there kind of by myself, and I'm thinking, man, this is great and everything else, yeah. and I'm doing it. And all of a sudden, they announce they hire him. Oh, my. Well, here he comes, right? Yeah. I feel like Sparky Spice, you know? Uh, <laughs> what's her name? Sparky, Sparky Spice. Spanky. I don't know. What's the spice Spark no one knows? <laughs> well, it's Sparky. I think yeah, Sparky Spice. Sparky Spice. Yeah. No one knows her. Old, old yeah. Spice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So all of a sudden he comes, and then, you know, he's a big deal there, so now I have to like him, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You have to yeah. like the person. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah, you gotta like him. Yeah. 
Then he says he listens to the show and he thinks I'm funny, and now that's he's he complimenting you. Oh, well, I never heard that great. before. Yeah. That's great. You know how when you hate somebody and they say they like you, then you, you feel bad. You don't know what to do with your hatred, yeah. right? Yeah. So, <laughs> because the hatred is really feels good. Yeah. Hatred is. Sure. You feel good hating it's people, energy. right? energy, yeah. So I really embrace him because the, the series is doing fantastic. But every now and again, as I, I have to think of, of a hatred thing. I have to bring it back. Uh -huh. Last night before I fell asleep, I, was, I thought, I figured his whole salary out. I make in three, uh, he makes in three days what I make in a year. Wow. And I went, I hate him, and I yeah. fell right to sleep. <laughs> right to sleep. Because it's true. <laughs> hate is a more fun feeling than <laughs> happiness and liking. It's more, more soothing than you were able it to. It is work. more soothing. That's great. I, don't, I mean, I don't know how you live, but I'm just telling <laughs> well, you that. Not exactly like that, no, but thanks. That's it. Now, listen, uh, Jay, great over there. Be good. You'll be back uh, in, uh, in December. Can't to, wait. To knock the meatball off Can't the tree. Wait. Always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very David. much. Thank you, Jay Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with John Legend. Nice.